Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. For those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you are not new, then welcome back girl. So in today's video, I have a haul for you guys. This is just a little small haul. I think it's small. Some of the stuff I haven't even opened yet and some of the stuff I've already worn. So this is just like a new in my wardrobe type of video. Just sharing with you guys a few things that I just got in new in my wardrobe. Some of these things, like I said, I've been using. So I've had them for a little longer than some things. So, but nevertheless, I'm going to share with you guys all the things that are new in my wardrobe so if you are interested in seeing what is new in my wardrobe then just keep watching okay so we'll start with the like accessories um so the, these things i got from amazon so yeah i'll just start with what i have on because i do have on some of the pieces that are new so the first thing i have are these earrings i don't know if you guys can see these or not but these are just like some chunky earrings so me and my kids um i think i've mentioned this in previous videos me and my kids recently went to the mountains for their fall break and I took my chunky hoop earrings with me while we were up there or went up there with them and I ended up some kind of way like breaking off the back of them so I had to purchase some more um, so I wanted to try some new ones out just to see and compare um, so I ended up getting these and these are a little bit thinner than the ones that I um, had before that I ones that I broke so I'm just trying these out, but like I said, these are thinner, but I still like them. They're just a nice size. They're not too big. They're not too small. And they're just a little bit smaller as far as the chunkiness than I wanted. I wanted something a little bit more chunkier, but they're still cute though. I love hoop earrings. I think I've always been a fan of hoop earrings. So, um, but yeah, they were pretty affordable from Amazon. So by the way, everything that I share with you guys, I will link down in the description box So be sure to check down there. But yeah, so these are the first thing that I got. And then the next thing I got are these, um, uh, bracelets here and these bracelets um, are from Amazon obviously I have some like this that I got from Shein I think sometime last year but I wanted to see if these were a dupe of the ones that I got from Shein or similar to the ones that I got from Shein and they most certainly are um, I think the ones that I got from Shein are, are just a tad bit uh, brighter as far as the gold the gold goldness or the gold of the color or whatever um, but they still look very similar to the ones that I got from Shein so if you guys love these type of like bangles or bracelets, um, then yeah, they have these on Amazon. So yeah, I definitely will link these down below for you guys. And um, if you follow my Amazon storefront, because I do have an Amazon storefront, then you probably will be able to find these on there as well. So, but yeah, these are the next things that I got. And then the rest of these things I have not opened or no, let me start with what I have opened because I do have, or have been wearing these earrings or like actually an ear cuff. So they look like this. They came in this packaging here, as you can see. And yeah, so, and I've been wearing one of these. I think I wore one of these um, to the mountains again. So it's just some chunky, um, like cuff earrings. I probably should have put them on. You could definitely have to like slide them down your ear a little bit. So, so this is what they look like. And as you can see, it's very chunky, just a little cuff. Um, I don't know if you, those of you who have been following me that seen re, you know, recent hauls. I did mention in one of my hauls that I had ordered some cuff earrings from Zara and they got delivered to the wrong address. And like my neighbors down the road from me, like literally I can see their house from my house. And we went knocking on their door trying to retrieve it because I could see the, the, the delivery guy took a picture and showed us, you know, you know how they take a picture when they deliver things. And it showed that they delivered it to that house. And we've been trying to reach my neighbors. We don't hardly talk to them. They're like the only ones in our like in our vicinity that uh, we don't really talk to. We don't really associate or socialize with. Um, and yeah, they, we've been knocking on their door. They're not even answering the door. So I, yeah, whatever. They got some free cuff earrings. So anywho, so I've been on the lookout for some ear, cuff earrings. And so I found these on Amazon. And like I said, they're just chunky. Kind of look like the uh, hoop earrings that I have on in my ear. But I've just been wanting some cuff earrings just to you know add a little extra detail to my look i'm going to keep these on actually um all right and then the next thing i got are another pair of earrings and these were so cute they definitely gave me like vintage vibes when i saw these and amazon they have a lot of these type of like vintage looking earrings for some reason this is how the packaging came like one of the earrings is out and like stuck to the plastic and the other one's in the plastic so that's kind of weird um but i'm gonna take them out so that you guys can see them um and get the full effect because like i really love these they kind of look kind of like um geometric shaped but here is what they look like hopefully my camera will focus on them here 
but yeah here's what they look like so like i said just kind of vintage they gave me vintage vibes when i saw them on um the uh, amazon website so I'm trying to get up close so you guys can kind of see um but yeah this is what they look like so like i said just kind of like a geometric type of a shape to them and yeah i just thought they were so cute and um not too bad quality i mean it is what it is considering it's costume jewelry from amazon but we'll see i'll wear those and style those up of course and one of my styling videos as you guys know i do lots of styling videos over here so or if you are new i do lots of styling videos so stick around to see those um like lots of pinterest inspired outfits videos and just styling videos in general so stay tuned if you are new here all right the next box i have these all came in like cute little packaging um so the next box i have is just this little pink box let me try to open it up with my nails here um and so i thought these were cute if i can just get them open out of this box here here actually let me go get some scissors because some of this stuff i'm going to be unboxing on camera so i need some scissors so I'll be right back two thousand years later all right so the next thing i got out of this little box here this is the packaging for this particular item that i'm going to open up here um and i think this is a yeah this is like one of those ring kind of chains it's kind of like goes around your wrist and then you hook it up to your finger so i'm going to attempt to put this on um i intentionally left my ring off of this finger Ooh, hold on let me get this situated i've been seeing a lot of women styling up these little like ring bracelets i don't even know what you really call them but i just thought they were so cute um especially like um just something different like if you want a ring Ooh, i don't know if this is gonna fit on my um middle finger here and i'm kind of scared to really um pull it because i don't want to tear it or break it because it definitely looks like it'll break easily so i'm not quite sure how to put this on y'all so just kind of bear with me here i think maybe i need to put the bracelet on first so <laughs> yeah as you can see i've never had one of these before so i'm like struggling here to figure this out so here we go finally got this or do we i'm gonna get this in a minute y'all all right so here is what it looks like so it's just like one of these like i said like ring type of a bracelets that go on your hand here i just thought that was so cute this is the bracelet part is definitely a little too um long so i'm gonna need to adjust that and it has a it has it where i can adjust it to make it a little bit um shorter so but yeah that's what it looks like so i just thought this was so cute and so chic and um yeah i just thought that would be cute to wear especially like um when i have um i don't know just i don't even know what i'm thinking about but yeah just to wear this um just to style up <laughs> point, point, you know point blank period just to style up um my accessories a little bit you know step up my accessory game a little bit so but yeah i just thought this was so cute so i'm gonna leave that on too even though it is dangling here but i'm gonna adjust it and fix it actually now let me just take it off because i need to adjust it in order for this to really fit so we're just gonna put it right here beside me and then the next thing i got again i should have probably opened this stuff up before i got on camera here but we're just doing some girl talk right just looking at accessories and, and clothes so um oh these are some ear cuffs as well so i evidently got went on a um uh ear cuff little kick here because i have another pair um like i said i really was trying to find some like chunky ear cuffs and those ones that i that i found from zara i wish i wish my neighbor would have you know it, it 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 pays to be nice you I, i'm a firm believer that what goes around comes around it just really pays to just be honest when you have somebody else's things especially if you know it's your neighbor like who does that yeah i'm still salty about that as y'all can tell but anywho we're gonna move on um so here are some other or some more little chunky um ear cuffs here so similar to the ones that i have on except these have like this this like detail in it like this rivet detail or i don't know what you call it like a kind of looks like a croissant type of a situation here so yeah i just thought these were so cute uh, just to add a little detail like instead of having like the smoothness this one i probably could put this one on just to create a little bit of like texture if you will some you know right beside the uh smooth texture of this 
hoop earring. I probably could have put this one on just to kind of add some, like I said, some texture. So, but yeah, definitely like this. And um, don't know why I need four of them because I think on the website they were like layering them, but and like putting one up here, I think that's too much. I think I'd rather have like a smaller one up here. Um, on the cartilage here than have like two chunky ones but i don't know we'll see i'll experiment to experiment with it and uh, most certainly we'll style it up but i like the fact that it comes in like this little detail here like this little packaging i have several things that i've gotten from other brands that use packaging like this so i just i just think this is genius it just kind of keeps everything in place and just you, where you can see it so it's clear so definitely just loving that my camera will focus here yeah, definitely loving the packaging with items like this. So, all right. So what else am I left to open? Okay, open that up. I think I have, I think this is the last item I got from Amazon. Um, I don't even remember what this is. Let's see. A lot of this stuff I don't even remember ordering because like I said, I've had it. Okay. Clearly I went on a ear cuff little kick because I have more ear cuffs. So they came in this packaging here. Um, what does this say? Contran K Remix. I don't know what that means. But anywho, yeah, so this is the packaging that it came in. And then, of course, I got some more cuff, little cuff earrings. Um, these, I have some gold and some silver. So these are similar to the ones that I have on. I don't know why I got two or four, four of these. I'm not going to wear all four together. So I may see if my daughter wants these because um, she likes to wear earrings. So maybe she'll want to wear some ear cuffs and then the other one I have is silver and again I don't even know why I got the silver because I don't wear silver a lot like that so but yeah just to add some or maybe I can do like a uh, mixed metal kind of situation that would be cute to kind of do gold yeah do gold and silver um I like that whole juxtaposition that whole is it a juxtaposition no it's not is it <laughs> it's a it's a metal mix is what that is so all right so those are all the things that i got from amazon i believe um yeah so those are mostly just accessories so now we're going to get into just like some random stuff um yeah let's get into what i got from belk because i did go on belk and ordered a few things from ralph lauren so let me do that i think the rest yeah this next few things are going to be for Ralph Lauren. So let me just share with you guys my little Ralph Lauren collection. All right. So the first thing I got from Belk is, I, like I said, all, the, all these things that I got from Belk, are, I got them from Ralph Lauren. I think they were having a sale on Belk. And um, I just racked up on a lot of sweatshirts. And let me just say, it is 88 degrees as I'm filming this. And I don't know, a lot of these things I'm going to share with you guys are sweaters. And I'm just like like this when it comes to the sweaters because it is 88 degrees it and it's like the end of october and it's like still feels like summer um we had like a cold front i want to say last week and so we're back to it being like summertime again so yeah girl this weather is something else so anyway but this is the first thing i got from belk and it's just like a um sweatshirt like i said i wore this um to our trip to the mountains um i think i shared with you guys in my even my western boot collection or another video i share these it might have been the western boot collection i shared this piece um in there or i was wearing this piece um in one of the outfits that i shared with you guys so this is from belk and i've already worn it and washed it so as you can see it washes pretty well didn't shrink i got this from the men's section i think in an extra large i'm pretty sure this was from the men's section because i like to wear a lot of men's um pieces from ralph lauren because just fits better i feel like ralph lauren it's um run small so i go and shop in the men's section uh, at least i try to um but yeah so it's just a sweatshirt um and i got this i had got something on my wish list if you guys have seen my i think it was my fall went, or fall wish list or just could have just been it might have just been a luxury wish list that i did and i shared with you guys a sweater that i wanted to get and that sweater was it was like a, one of those teddy bear sweaters that i wanted to get and I'm going to share with you because I did get it. So I ended up getting this before I got that sweater because I was that sweater was out of stock. So I thought this would be a good compromise. So I, I have two like sweaters slash sweatshirts from Ralph Lauren now. Um, but anywho, so this one's different from the sweater though. But yeah, I just thought it was cute. It says polo on it, Ralph Lauren. So it was nice and cozy for when we went to the mountains. I think it was a little chilly up there. So, but yeah, so that's the first thing I got from Belk. 
Um, I am a huge fan of Ralph Lauren. If you've been following me, then you know this about me. <laughs> I love Ralph Lauren. Um, and then the next sweater or sweatshirt I got is this one. And I got it in this burgundy color and just absolutely love it. I love the little bear on it here. Just looks so cute. It's just so cute, right? Um, I love the sweaters with the little bears on them. And so I saw they had the sweatshirts with them on there too. And I got this in an extra large. And like I said, I want to say they were on sale on Belk. The retail was 168, but I know I didn't. At least I don't think I paid that much for it. But again, like I said, everything will be linked down below in case you're interested and you want to see the pricing or whatnot. But yeah, got this in an extra large. So yeah, I haven't tried this on, so I'm not sure exactly how it fits. But if it fits like the other one, the green one, then it fits a little oversized. So, um, but yeah, I love burgundy. Been styling up a lot of burgundy here lately um, and buying a lot of burgundy just in general. So this would be so cute with like some jeans um, or even like to create an interesting outfit with like maybe a slip skirt or something so I think that'll be cute so a slip skirt and like some boots or something will be cute with that so and then the next few things I got are some socks because you can't go wrong with socks so a first pair I got well this is three pair that I got so one has the little um and again a little bear on it and then you have the red pair that just says polo and I think this has NY so I guess the one that means New York polo New York and then the last ones are these. They just have the polo on the side here. So I thought these were really cute um, to pair up with a lot of my sweaters that I have. Um, I thought these would be cute to wear with like some loafers and like, again, a skirt um, or some trousers or some jeans with like the hem rolled up so you can actually see the socks. Cause it's like, what's the point if you can't really see what's on the socks, right? So. Um, but yeah, I just thought these would be cute to wear with loafers actually. So, and I think they will be, I think they will be cute to wear with loafers. And these, I think I got in the women's section. Let's see if it says if they're women's or not. Yeah, these are women's. Um, and I think I got them size nine through 11. doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure they were size nine to 11. Yeah, it says size, sock size nine through 11 fits shoe size four through 10 and a half. So, but yeah, all these were cute again to go with all of my Ralph Lauren pieces that I have in my wardrobe. Um, again, I got some more socks. I thought I got three pair of socks, but I'm gonna look and see. Pretty sure I got three pair or three different ones, but here's the next one. And this one just has the little polo bear on it. So cute. Um, or the little, yeah, the little polo bear. And his actual little sweater looks like the one that I have in my wardrobe already, so. Um, but yeah, again, I thought this would be cute to wear with loafers because these are a little bit thinner. They're more like a loafer sock or like a dress sock, like what you would wear with dressier shoes. So those are other ones are more like athletic socks, but these are definitely like a more of a dressier sock. So definitely will be cute styling it with my, um, loafers. So can definitely get away with wearing this with some skirts or maybe even like some Bermuda shorts, like some, um, trousery or, yeah, like some dressy Bermuda, Ber, Bermuda uh, shorts. So, yeah, that'll be a cute vibe. So, especially now, considering the weather is not cold. All right. So, yeah, I think that's all the things. Yeah, I thought I, th I thought I got more socks, but no, I only got four items from Belk. So, but yeah, so those are the things that I got from Belk. And then the, the, the next two things are going to be one-offs. This I got from, where did, I, where did this come from? Saks? I think I got, this came from Saks Fifth Avenue. Yeah. So I did end up getting a piece on my wish list, on my luxury wish list. And it is a sweater from Polo, Ralph Lauren. And like I said in that wish list video, this particular sweater, for whatever reason, this colorway has been out of stock for a while. So I had been put to be notified on the Saks Fifth Avenue website to be notified when this particular size came in stock. And so I got notified, went on there with the quickness and was able to get it and it's sold out already. So, but here is the item here. So another Ralph Lauren piece in this green, hunter green color that I absolutely love um, and in the sweater. So I have, at this point, I have two more of these sweaters. I have one with like the little flag on it and that's cream color. And then I have another one that's navy blue with a little, the little, bear on it as well so now i have three of these in my collection and i will definitely get lots of wear out of them in the winter time i'm gonna say winter because i don't think we're gonna get a fall i think it's gonna go straight from like summer weather to just I, all all of a sudden just like 
20 to 20 to 30 degrees i feel like that's where we're gonna that's what i feel like that's the vibe for the the fall slash winter is is, is going to be hot and then next thing you know it's going to be 20s and 30s we're going to have to get out our coats and stuff yeah you know with the quickness so but anyway i got this in extra large and um i think was it on sale because it says retail for 3.98 it probably was not i yeah i know it's crazy to spend almost 400 dollars on a sweater but it's something that i'll always have in my wardrobe you already know again how i feel about ralph lauren it's a brand that i always love to find especially in the thrift store and it's a brand that i just love to wear so i know i'm gonna get tons of wear out of it so it's worth the investment if you you know especially with sweaters like this because they're so versatile like i can just wear it as well like draped over my shoulder like that um, to create a you know a different style so but yeah love these sweaters and um i have like i said I have two more so i know i'll wear them because i wear those so but yeah so that's the one-off thing that I got from Saks Fifth Avenue. And then we went to the outlet mall, or the outlet, I should say, while we were up in the mountains, because they did have like a mall outlet there. We were just trying to kill some time until we went to go ride horses. And they had like an outlet mall right across from where we were going to ride horses. So that was perfect, right? Like I love to shop and, you know, get some shopping done you know, multitask, get some shopping done and have some fun riding horses. So um, I did just that and I only got one item. I, it took me so, so much restraint to not get more while I was in there because, you know, at the outlet, things are reduced, you know, more, you know, reasonable prices. I mean, Ralph Lauren is expensive, but the, the outlet is more of a reasonable price, if you will. So I saw this um, piece in the, again, men's sections where I got this. And I've actually been seeing a lot of these, um, or this particular shirt similar to it from i know new mood they do a um version of this and i absolutely love it and i've been seeing it styled up on pinterest so i saw this um version of that in polo anyway so it's a striped polo shirt we know polo shirts are huge and trending right now so this is in like this burgundy and white and navy blue color and um yeah just absolutely love this and I have an idea of how I want to style it up. So stay tuned because I'm going to do a Pinterest inspired outfits video because I already have a Pinterest outfit saved that I want to recreate and I'm going to use this piece. So stay tuned for that. But um, I just absolutely love it. It's a men's size. It's extra large, I believe. Yes, yeah, extra large. So it is kind of big on me. I mean, it's not kind of big. It is big on me. Um, but I thought I can, you know, do my multi-purpose with it. Like I can wear it with, you know, a skirt um, or I can wear it with some jeans. You know i can wear it with anything right like there's yeah i can wear it with all kinds of bottoms um but i wanted to get it kind of big well yeah i wanted to get it kind of big because i didn't want it to be too fitting because again i wanted to have multi-purpose with it so i figured the bigger it is the more use i can get out of it by you know wearing it like as like a little dress type of situation you know with like layered with like a skirt again like i said so but yeah absolutely love it love burgundy as i've already told you guys and that's this is more of like a dark burgundy compared to the ralph lauren um sweatshirt that i shared with you guys this is more of a darker burgundy so but yeah can't wait to style that up and share with you guys a pinterest inspired outfits or outfit with that so um so those are all the things that i got as far as from ralph lauren now the last items i'm going to share with you guys i haven't even opened this box so we have good old zara because you know got to do can't do a haul without doing a Zara haul or without doing some Zara too. So I'm trying to cover up my dress here. But yeah, we got a little bit of a Zara haul here. So let me open this box up and then we'll get into the pieces in this box and we'll be done. All right. So here are the pieces from Zara. All nice and packaged up here, as you can see. One thing about Zara is they're going to they're gonna package their stuff like it's quality and they're going to package their stuff like it's luxury. That's... That's one thing I love about Zara is even though it's more affordable, um, you know, fast fashion, um, they do give you that luxury experience. So we're just gonna go straight out of the box, okay? Um, with the first item at the top. Again, I didn't realize I have a lot of burgundy. This is fall tones. These are all fall tones too. I have burgundy, I have green. Well, mainly I have burgundy and green, but we have some other colors in the box, but definitely got a lot of burgundy. Anywho, so this is the first piece, um, and this is so cute. I ordered this stuff probably about a 
maybe almost a month ago. I'm trying to think if I ordered this stuff this month. I think it was last month. I think I ordered this stuff. So I'm just now opening it up. So, but anywho, so this is the first item and this is this burgundy cardigan and I love the buttons. The buttons, it's the buttons for me. The buttons look very luxury, very classy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, they look very luxurious. So, and it's very thick. Oh my God. This is extremely thick. Like this is actually pretty good quality. Like it's just as good as quality as the Ralph Lauren stuff. So, and I got it in extra large. It doesn't tell me the US price on here. But again, like I said, everything that I'm sharing with you guys, I will link down in the description box. Be sure to check down there, okay? Um, but this is how it looks. So very pretty, very demure, very mindful, very much so luxury, okay? So, um, so yeah, I just hope it fits because it does look kind of snug and I don't like things to be snug on me. So hopefully it does fit. Um, but yeah, this will be cute to style um, in a casual way, but like some jeans and maybe some loafers or maybe even some sneakers. Maybe that's too much casualness. So maybe some jeans, like some wide leg jeans with like some ballet flats or something like that, you know, and even maybe like a baseball cap. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. I have a burgundy Ralph Lauren baseball cap that I probably would wear with this. I know it's a lot of burgundy, but if you're going to do it, do it all. Just, you know, do it all out. So. Um, but yeah, so that's the first thing that I got from Zara. And then I got an accessory. Yeah, some of these things I forgot I even ordered. So, oh, yeah, okay, now I remember. So the next thing I got is an accessory. I think it's the only accessory I got. And so we know Western trend is huge right now. And I've been seeing like these little, I don't even know what you call them, like little tie detail. Anywho, this is what it looks like here. So it's like one of those Western type of, like a medallion string. I don't know if you can see that here I'm trying to she yeah. so this is what it looks like so it's um it kind of goes around your neck um around the collar so it'll go around the collar here and then this little string will just hang and i think you can adjust it to make it as tight or i think as loose as you want it i think yeah because it has um you can't see it obviously because i don't have it out of the packaging but yeah this will be cute with actually another item that i have in this in this order um yeah for like a western type of a look i can't remember who i saw styled up something like this or maybe i saw it on pinterest um because i'm always on pinterest but yeah i just thought it'd be something different to um add it's just kind of it's I, I, actually it's just kind of like wearing a like a uh necklace with like some sort of chunky medallion on it but um but i liked it too because it has i just now noticed that it has like some floral detail to it if you guys can see like the floral detail so very pretty so but anyway so looking forward to styling that up with the next piece that i'm going to share with you guys which is this denim shirt um as you can see i have a denim shirt on now so i wanted like a dark denim shirt so i found this on zara and this definitely gives me western vibes um and i love like the contrast stitching the stitching is like in this what is it like a brown kind of color as you can see so just thought that was so cute um and i got this in an extra large because again i like to size up because i feel like it's more versatile if you size up so i can wear it with leggings i can wear it with jeans i can wear it with skirt i can tuck it in and wear it with trousers like it's just versatile um, when you size up i feel like or more versatile when you size up so um but yeah this is very long i didn't realize it was going to be this long maybe it's just because of the size but um definitely a nice color i love this dark denim we know denim is huge and trending by the way i'm going to be doing a video where i'm going to be styling up denim so stay tuned for that i'm not sure when i'm going to do it but it's coming um and so i can't wait to style this up but yeah i have some dark denim leggings so i can wear this with those dark denim leggings and some cowboy boots and that little that little uh necklace or whatever this is i can't think of the name of it right now but yeah style this up with that too to kind of give that ultimate western look i'm just into the western i don't know why I, well i do know why because i've been seeing it uh, all over the you know social media and um not not necessarily TikTok, but mainly on um, pinterest i've been seeing it a lot so it's got me inspired to wear western so um but yeah love this piece i think i told you guys i got it in extra large um and the only thing i don't like and i'm just not noticing is that the buttons are silver <laughs> y'all see those silver buttons i they rarely do they put silver buttons on pieces 
I don't like the silver buttons and they look very cheap. So mm, that's the only thing I don't like it. And are they poppers? Oh God, <laughs> that's even worse. They're like the little poppers where you pop the button on. I hate that because they always, well, at least the pieces that I get that come like that, the popper ends up breaking off some kind of way. So gosh, <sighs> just when you think you like a piece, then you see something that you just like turned off about, but like I said, I can do some mixed metal styling and it will be okay. And where I can wear my little silver cuff earrings, cuff little earrings with this, huh? So anywho, so that is the next piece. The next piece I got, um, the only brown piece I have in this uh, uh, haul is, um, I got this in an extra large and it's another cardigan. And I love the buttons on this. This one is, the buttons are kind of unusual actually. Um, and they're not poppers they actually kind of where you have to adjust them or like they have like a little hole where you put the button through the hole so but this is what the buttons look like so they're kind of like very different kind of like an asymmetric type of uh oval shaped and it's kind of curved i don't know if you guys can see that so that's very different something very different and unique um, i do have a blue blue oh my goodness i do have a brown um cardigan um, but it's, I think it's actually more kind of camely brown or more of a light brown. This is definitely more of a chocolate brown. So I've been was looking for a chocolate brown cardigan and I love the, like I said, the buttons and this one is very thin. So I feel like this is a good transition piece that you can wear year round. Um, so that's perfect. Um, and yeah, hopefully it fits. It's kind of big. So, um, I'm sure it will fit. So, cause I got it in extra large. So, but yeah can't wait to style that up this is more of a classier piece i mean i can dress it down with jeans but i feel like this is more of a probably wear this more uh, of a classier way again with like one of my millions of slip skirts um, maybe some trousers so yeah stay tuned for me to style up that and then the last thing i got this was definitely a wild card piece i think i got this sweater because i have some purple adidas um i think they're samba so maybe they're gazelles but nonetheless i have some uh purple adidas they're purple and green or not purple and green purple and like a yellow fluorescent yellow and so i thought this would go perfectly with those shoes not that i won't really like to be matchy matchy but i just thought it'd be something to wear with those shoes because those shoes are definitely purple and yeah so we'll, I, don't, I don't know if they actually match so i'm gonna go in there and see if they match my sneakers but so anyway, so this is what I got. This sweater, just a plain sweater in this purple, Barney purple color. Um, I just thought it was pretty, just a unique, different color for me because I don't wear a lot of purple. I don't even think I own a lot of purple. So I thought it'd be a nice color to add, especially with all these neutrals that I have. Um, I consider burgundy a neutral. I don't know why. I just feel like burgundy matches with everything and anybody can get away with burgundy because it's kind of dark, but this is definitely a pop. This is definitely a pop of color. So, um, but yeah, I got this in an extra large as well. So just again, a plain sweater. I think just the color is really the statement of this piece. So, and this is very thick. Um, yeah, definitely thick, definitely not like a transitional piece. You definitely have to wear this when it's cold. And right now I definitely could not wear that or wear this with the weather that we're having now. So hopefully soon, sooner rather than later, I'll be able to wear this, um, sweater. So, but yeah, so those are, that's everything I feel like. I feel like that's everything. Um, I think it's everything. Um, but yeah, everything that I share with you guys, I will link down in the description box for you in case you are interested in any of the pieces. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for styling videos where I'm more than likely going to style up these pieces. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends, girl. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. All right, bye guys.